Now I've got my shelf cut, and this, I'm just using plywood for this because I want it to be stable inside there. I don't want it to expand and contract and uh, possibly mess up the pedestal at some point later on in the life of the of the piece. So this is just plywood for the shelf, but I've got it cut out to the size I need, which is a quarter inch uh, oversize from was I don't know if you can see the mark but it's a quarter inch oversized from that to fit in the dados and I've got the bottom base which is the actual base for the piece and then over here which you probably can't see is the top base just inch and a half uh, thick plywood two or one two three four pieces laminated together so that's going to be nice and hefty for the actual top to sit on and I have traced this shelf out around on the base here. And I'm going to do the same thing to the, to the top base. And now I'm just going to, I've got an inch and a half on my combination square. So I, I set the piece before I drew the, before I traced it to the to inch and a half of the edge of this, on this piece. Now I'm just going to mark here very kind of as accurately as possible an inch and a half offset to the rest all the, all the way around here and that is because I want the base to be a little bit wider than the actual pedestal so and I just picked an inch and a half I know that my pedestal pieces are an inch so and this already is going to be quarter inch into that so I just picked an inch and a half because I want it to stick out a little bit more so, there we go. No other real reason for that. I'm just going to make some marks and I'll connect these together with a straight edge in a little bit. Now I'm going to cut these little feet out of some extra stock here. That was the plan all along to cut these tiny little feet, six of them. So I've made my marks uh, the appropriate angles here just use the center line and the method I used in the very first part of the video to cut out the uh, the top used out use that method now I made all the marks and now I'm just going to cut them out on the table saw I've got my miter sled or uh, the miter uh, gauge here set up to 30 degrees and an auxiliary fence to be safe and I'll just line up my mark and make the cut and then I'll flip it around this way, make the cut, flip it one more time this way, and then last time and I'll cut it that way. Alright, let's line up the mark. Make the cut. Get that waist out of the way. Line up the next mark. Get that waist out of the way. Line up this mark here. And there you have it, one of six hexagon feet. Yeah. A few things since I've shot the last video. I cut the dados. You saw that happening, getting ready to happen. Also chiseled out some openings for the hinges. You can see there. Just drew them out and chiseled them on the doors and the matching pedestal parts. 
two doors and two pedestal parts. And then I just countersunk or uh, pre drilled and countersunk all the cleats for uh, insulation on the pedestals. And I'm getting ready to glue those up here in a minute. Next, I'll do sanding, lots and lots of sanding. I'm going to sand everything that I possibly can and then go from there. Yeah. Now I've got a, lots of sanding done. I've glued up the pedestal base here, six sided pedestal base. So that's uh, it's drying. I'm going to put the top on here pretty soon so that I can attach this pedestal to the top of the table. Also, <coughs> after sanding, I custom fit all the drawer fronts <coughs> so that there's no gap in the miter here. And uh, I'm going to be drilling just a small uh, hole with some Forstner bits for finger pulls. So we'll just pull the drawer out real easy. I'm going to get that done here pretty soon. And then keep moving. ready to install the top, what I'm calling the top base. It's basically the top of the, of the pedestal that connects to the top of the table. So it's the transition piece in between. And that's uh, made from two pieces of inch and a half plywood. I just wanted it to be super duper strong. So I didn't use uh, solid wood in this in this particular case. Plus, it's going to be hidden from view, so no one's going to see that. But now I've got, a, got the pedestal flipped upside down. You can see this is the shelf. This would be the top side here. You might be able to see the mortises for the hinges, which I chiseled out earlier by hand. And these, you know, all the cleats inside here, are what's going to what I'm going to use to attach to the top base, if you will. Uh, next, I'll put the actual base on, and then I'll put the feet on, and then uh, I'll keep going from there, rock and roll. Okay, now I have all the parts stained kind of golden brown color. It's pretty nice. Two doors over there. the doors. I've let it sit overnight. I'm just going to do a light sanding. Just a very very light sanding and then I'm going to put a coat of shellac on with my sprayer and then after that I'll do maybe six coats of, sh of lacquer and then uh, I'll put the upholstered top on, on this part here, and then I'll install the drawers, or maybe reverse order of that, install the drawers, then put the upholstered top on, either way. <coughs> and then it'll do, do be just well, about I'm that. here installing the drawers. I thought I'd go over how I was doing that because I always had questions and you might too. So I've taken out the extension, whatever you call them, and I'm going to just use some spring clamps to attach. Let's do this side first. To attach the drawer slide the two by four. And I know that this and the, these two these two uh, two by fours here are parallel. So I'm just going to line it up where I want the end here with that little mark there. 
because that's where I want the drawer slide to stop. And I'm just going to clamp that guy in place, make sure it's nice and flush. Clamp. I want my I need access to the drill hole there, so I need to make sure that that's good. Clamp that in place. Make sure it's flush and level and good. Okay. Now I'm just going to drill a couple of pilot holes. One right there. And two back here. Alright. Now I need to change to a regular drill bit, or a regular screwdriver bit. There we go. Now I'm just drilling the little screws. And secure that in place. Sounded good. Now these two. Now here's the trick. When you put on these drawers, you, the table's turned upside down. First of all, so I need the drawer to clear the tabletop by about an eighth of an inch or so, maybe a quarter inch. So I made these two very high-tech spacer blocks that are made from four different pieces of the exact same scrap. So I know that they're exactly the same thickness. Tape them together because that's what I do. And then I'm just going to put them on either side to keep this door uh, level and parallel to the top while I do this. So I've got to put these back in. Those good. One. Oops. That was awesome. Two. Bam. Now I put my drawer in. So it might fit. That's what I want. And I'm going to put it back where I want this to be, which is right about there. Make sure it's level on my little high-tech blocks. And I've got a really long knife here. And I'm just going to mark I'm going to use the knife to flush with this, the end of this. Flush with the end of this. And I'm just going to make a mark come straight up. And that's where I want my drawer slide to be on this side. On this one, same thing. Flush with the end of the drawer slide. Bam. Make a mark come straight up, and that's what I want. I'm pull my now, drawer out. I'm just going to make line up this end of the drawer slide with the knife mark that I made right there. And then I'll drill my pilot hole. I've got something heavy on this end of the drawer, which is just a gallon of lacquer thinner. I'm telling you, I'm high tech. I'm just drill my no, because I've got that there because. That's resting on those two spacer blocks to make sure that this is level. So now I'm just going to drill my pilot hole. Drilling the screw. 
maybe. There's one. Now I'm going to do the exact same procedure on the other side. Now that I've got that done, I'm just going to pull it out a little bit more, making sure that it's still on my spacer blocks here. You can see this one. It's still on my spacer blocks. My gallon of lacquer thinner is still here, so it's still level. And I'm going to drill a couple more. I'm going to drill one more pilot hole on this side. Give it a quick test. I'm going to pull out the spacers. There's one, there's two. Let's give it a quick test. There we go. Now I got two more to this do. This is the completed table. Got a Triforce from a certain video game that you could probably figure out if you're a nerd like me. The doors on the front open. And this is all poplar stained a dark brown. some adjustment to do on the drawers but I think this will be good enough for a final picture drawers open these are uh, drink holders Tight. All six open. Now, reach the door. Hexagon table. With six drawers. Doors on the bottom. A little shelf inside there. For books and such. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time.